All right, everybody, here is passage six of 34. Religious worship will look different. Amy Sullivan is director of strategy for Vote Common Good. We are an Easter people. Many Christians are fond of saying, emphasizing the triumph of hope and life over fear. But how do an Easter people observe their holiest day if they cannot rejoice together on Easter morning? How do Jews celebrate their deliverance from bondage when Passover cedars must take place on Zoom, with in-laws left to wonder whether Cousin Joey forgot the four questions or the internet connection merely froze? It's a good joke. Can Muslim families celebrate Ramadan if they cannot visit local mosques for Tarawa or Tarawi prayers or gather with loved ones to break the fast? All faiths have dealt with the challenge of keeping faith alive under the adverse conditions of war or diaspora or persecution, but never all faiths at the same time. Religion in the time of quarantine will challenge conceptions of what it means to minister and, and to fellowship. But it will also expand the opportunities for those who have no local congregations to sample sermons from afar. Contemplative practices may gain popularity. And maybe, just maybe, the culture war that has branded those who preach about the common good with the epithet, epithet, Social justice warriors may ease amid the very present reminder of our interconnected humanity.